Croissono. Welcome back to another Welsh grammar lesson. Today we're looking at regular verbs and irregular verbs. And more so the irregular verbs because they work differently. And it's not so much that we're looking at how each of these irregular verbs work differently, but rather that you're aware that these fall into different groups and aware that these exist. So most verbs have one base and work usually the same way, more or less. So look at agor to open. Agor is a fenester. I opened the window. And the different conjugations, attaching different people to them, like she, he, they, they work the same way, more or less. And you have the I ending, trillo, to digest, to spend. Trillo here, pernhaun, ar trith. She spent the afternoon on the beach. Trillo he, she spent. And most of those work the same way, but there are irregular verbs which work differently. And these fall into three main categories. Okay? So the first group, attach, bold, meaning to be, to be or to not to be, to be or to not, to be or not to be, right? But we're not talking about English. Bold is the verb to be in Welsh. And you see vold at the end of a lot of these. So, bold, adna bold, gwibold. These work very much in their own way, because bold, to be, conjugates in its own way. Bithai, bithidi, you will be. Be there, he will be. Bithano, they will be. Okay? And you'll just have to learn gwibold on its own to know and nabod, to know a person or place. So we have two words for to know in Welsh, like most Indo-European languages. Nabod and gwibod. I have a video on that, which I'll put up here, if you want to learn more about that. But you need to know gwibod and how it changes. Just know that. And there are lots of these canvod to identify kvarvod to meet but you're not going to conjugate these often because they are irregular kidnabod to recognize kidnabod gorvod to compel to to need to do gorvith he she had to the second group is more important, frankly. You've got gunaid, to do or to make, which we use a lot in longer constructions. Dod, to come. That's an important one that you hear a lot. And mind, to go. I'm not going to go into how all those change right now just to know that those are irregular. Like the next group, Kyle, is on its own. It's very unique. I made a video about that, Kyle, if you want to know more about Kyle, to get, to have, to be allowed to. Kessie give way, Thoi. I had an opportunity yesterday. Katie. You can, you can get to Katie. These irregular verbs have more ways to conjugate than standard verbs. They, some of them have two bases rather than just like agor, trillo, just one, one base, you know that it's done. For these irregular verbs, you're going to have to learn them 
Not one by one, because once you know the one to do with bold, you've got the rest. But Dold, Mind, Grenade, Kyle, those four, you need to learn on their own. Slowly, I've got a video for Kyle already. I probably will be doing f some for Bold to be. Let me know if you'd like one for Gnade to make, to do. Because we do use Gnade quite a bit like this. Minesi Dalia Din Loi. I did pay the man yesterday. And we think that in English, like we say I do or do this a lot, which is not very Germanic. It's very possible that the do construction in English comes from Old Welsh into English. In any case, I just wanted you to be aware that there are different kinds of verbs that are irregular and regular. The regular verbs, the same ending applies to most of them, and you'll get it. You don't have to think too much about that once you understand where the bases are of verbs and how they change. The irregular verbs, you do need to spend a bit of time on to think over and well, they are regular once you get into them, but they have their own irregularities compared to most. Okay, and if you'd like me to make a video on Gnade, let me know. We'll see you next time.